Hey guys, welcome to Seat Spring Repair. This is the um, seat base out of a 1965 VW Bug. And it's pretty typical for any older seat um, being a spring seat. You see these little things right here? Um, these are called ferrules. And this one I have not crimped yet. I just stuck it on there um, so I can show you the crimping method. Um, but basically what you do is you find the broken ends and in a lot of these seats on the driver's side closest to the door you're gonna find a lot of broken seat springs uh, in my case there are two here two here so that's and one here so that's five six seven eight nine and I know there's another one up here that makes at least ten um, so 10 broken springs is, is a lot of springs to be broken. That's a good majority of the pressure that you get uh, pushing up on your seat, holding you up. But there are these neat little things called ferrules. Uh, you get them at the hardware store. Uh, they're generally less than 50 cents a piece. Um, sorry, I'm going to try and get the focus going here. Um, if you can find them in bulk, uh, they're... They're for making cables. So what happens is, is the cable comes up this side, makes a loop, comes back down, and goes through, and then you crush it. Um, that's basically what we have done here, uh, is run it through and crush it. Now, this one, I've put it together, but I haven't crushed it yet, so I can show you what I do um, to crush them. And in my case, I am using a set of vice grips and vice grips you just crank it down squeeze it on one end move it over crank it down squeeze it on the other end and that's it you can see that it doesn't move that is a fixed repair and it will stay for the rest of the life of the car. Um, so all you have to do is go through and repair all of those springs. One of the things you need to pay attention to is what springs go where, and um, you can copy the other side of the seat and uh, just look back and forth because some of these springs intertwine with each other. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go I have to go and pop this one out and put it back around here because um, I, I accidentally forgot to put that through because I was doing it on camera and not paying attention to what I was doing. Um, sometimes you have to grind these tips off or cut them off in order to uh, make it um, a cleaner end to get it into the ferrule. Um, there's bigger ferrules and smaller ferrules. I found that for the seat base, these real small ferrules are the best. And then for the seat back, those big springs that go across the back, uh, you can see these ferrules are a lot bigger. Um, and that's the right size for those those seat back springs. You can find this stuff at any good hardware store that carries a lot of hardware in their hardware bins, um, areas where there's bolts and nuts and washers and all that kind of stuff. So ferrules, they're wonderful. You can rebuild your own seat, not have to pay somebody else to do it. They're pretty much going to do the same thing or they're going to scrap another seat out to take springs out of it and rebuild it. The springs still work. They just broke. Um, you're putting the connection back together and they're going to do the exact same thing. So, um, I hope you guys like it, and uh, I hope it helps you guys to fix your own uh, VWs out there or other, any other classic car, you know, because this works for any classic spring seat. So, ferals, they're a wonderful thing. Have a great day, guys.